Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about short key TTL. So we know very well about TTL, transistor transistor logic. TTL stands for transistor transistor logic. In short key TTL, short key is nothing but a diode. Here in short key transi transistor transistor logic, all the transistors we are using as short key transistors. The purpose of uh, using short key transistor instead of using normal transistor is to increase the speed of operation of your TTL NAND gate or whatever the gate you are going to design with the TTL. So the gates performance and the speed of the particular operation is going to be improved when you are using a short key transistor. So here the standard TTL the standard TTL, low power TTL and high speed TTL high speed TTL operate using operate using saturated switching or saturated transistors saturated switching that means when you are saying a transistor is in off state it is completely in cutoff region when you are saying a transistor is in on state then the transistor is completely operated in saturation region so we are going to operate the transistor either in cutoff region or in saturation region that means the deep saturation regions we are operating Okay, but when the transistor is completely saturated, excess charge carriers will be stored in the base region. Okay, when a base region is acting as a storage element, it is using to store large excess charge carriers. So because of that, what happens? They must be removed before the transistor can be turned off. Okay, when the transistor, suppose a transistor, a transistor is set to be on. Okay, on means it is completely going into saturation region. So, when it is in saturation region, large amount of current is flowing through that transistor. So, large amount of charge carriers, large amount of charge carriers developed, charge carriers developed across the base junction of this particular transistor. But, Immediately what we are doing, we are making the transistor immediately to switch off, to switch off by uh, applying some negative potential like a 0 volts, okay, logic 0 volts, logic 0 state. When you are giving logic 0, transistor immediately comes from on to off. But because of this excess amount of charge carriers developed across the base junction, immediately the charge carriers cannot go away, okay. So, owing to the storage time delay, the speed is reduced. So, owing to the storage time delay, storage time delay, the speed is reduced. The speed is reduced. Okay, so because of this large amount of charge carriers developed in one state and cannot come back easily to the other state that's why it takes some amount of time this is this time is known as the storage time delay or because of this storage time delay the speed of operation of the normal transistor is going to be reduced okay so in order to increase the speed of operation of this particular ttl NAND gate we have to use a short key transistor in place of this particular normal transistor Short, uh, short key transistor, how it is uh, short key transistor is having, you are having a short key diode, you are having a short key diode, short key diode symbol is like this, normally diode is having one straight vertical line, but when you are seeing a short key, the shape of yours should be appeared at the end terminal, okay, and this particular short key diode is there from collector to base from collector to base of a normal transistor. 
then you can say the transistor will be acting as a short key transistor short key transistor the symbol is same here we have a fold here we have a fold and this is the input okay so the short key diode this is what nothing but short key diode short key diode this short key diode is connected from base to collector base to collector to remove the excess charge carriers which are developed when the transistor is set to be on state okay so this symbolic representation of overall uh, together the diode and as well as transistor is like this now we are going to use such transistors in our design in place of normal transistor then our design will be making a short key ttl but the operation of the short key ttl and normal ttl both same but what is the difference speed of operation so if you see this again we have a multi emitter transistor q1 which is a short key transistor see the difference in the previous cases previous video i told you ttl circuits where we are having normal bjt but here it is short key bjt short key transistor all transistors q1 to q5 made up of short key transistors nothing but what we have one uh, actually these all five transistors are normal transistors but additionally we are having a diode short key diode from base to collector okay commonly we are representing it as a short key transistor okay suppose take 0 0 as input input a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 case first case i am saying logic 0 is nothing but 0 volts so when you are giving 0 volts here and 0 volts here then this particular 0 is applied at the emitter on the other hand we are having base is connected to the plus vcc plus vcc is like 5 volts plus vcc is nothing but 5 volts so as base is connected to plus 5 volts and n is connected to 0 and emitter is connected to 0 nothing but 0 volts then this junction is acting as switch on and again this base to emitter 1 suppose i am taking this as base to emitter 1 and this is base to emitter 2 then base to emitter 1 base to emitter 2 both are both junctions are switched on then whatever the current coming from this resistor r1 that current goes to the input a and input 0 input a and input b because they with the current will be having a always a short circuit path now there is no current entering into the base of the transistor q2 very small amount of current is flowing but that small amount of current is not sufficient to switch on the transistor q2 so q2 comes into off state as q2 is in off state there is no path to the ground so whatever the current coming that is going towards this q3 so q3 switch on as q3 is switch on switch on q5 switch on and output is equal to logic one output is equal to logic one and what about the q6 q6 is also off because q2 is not connecting okay so 0 0 if you want you can uh, take the status of individual transistors q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 q6 and then output y okay so q1 on and q2 off as q2 off q3 on q5 on q5 on and q4 q6 as this particular q2 is off the current which is coming from the q2 must switch on q6 and q4 so if the q2 is off q2 is off definitely that makes the q4 and q6 off so q4 q6 are also off okay q2 q2 whatever q2 status is q4 and q6 is also same because if q2 is on then only q6 and q4 will be having currents at the inputs now take output is equal to logic one take 0 1 case 0 1 case in this base to emitter 1 and base to emitter 2 one junction is sufficient to switch on to say the q1 is in on state nothing but the current will be flowing like this one junction is sufficient to switch on the transistor q1 
so q1 is in our state then q1 is in on the status is same for the remaining transistors output is equal to logic 1 now 1 0 again same status 1 0 means the case is altered but a base to emitter 1 or base to emitter 2 1 is sufficient to switch on then again it is on off on off on off alternatively we are having on off so output is equal to 1 now let us see the last case which is important here when both a and b are logic ones base to emitter 1 base to emitter 2 these two are switched off so yes these two junctions are not conducting then the current will be flowing from r1 to the input of q2 so q1 of q2 on as q2 is in on state as q2 is in on state there is a current flow from ECC through the R2 and Q2 to the inputs of Q4 and as well as Q6. So that makes the Q4 and Q6 on. But as the current is directly going downwards, there is no current entering into the Q3. So Q3 comes into off and that makes the Q4 Q5 also off. Okay. So this is off Q3 and Q4 on q5 off and q6 on okay so as this q4 is in on state q6 is q5 is in off state the output is connected to ground so output is equal to logic 0 okay q4 q6 see q4 q6 these two are on and q5 is off <coughs> q5 is off okay so when all inputs are ones <coughs> output is equal to 0 this acting as a NAND gate NAND gate so this NAND gate is made up of short key TTL NAND gate short key TTL NAND gate the main purpose of short key is to improve to improve speed okay speed of operation can be improved by using short key diodes instead of uh, normal transistors short key transistors will improve the speed of operation by removing the excess charge carriers okay thank you